So here we are, about to leave Little Garth. There's a fair maiden to wave us off. And we're ready to go. So we're now going past Panic Park, looking very beautiful. To the old railway. So the cinder track goes from Whitby to where does it go to? We can go this way, Christy. It's easier, it's not as steep. So this is the old railway. This was the steam railway that went originally, I think, from Middlesbrough to Scarborough. Uh, but this bit of the path goes from Whitby, I think, all the way to Scarborough, and you can cycle it or walk it. Would have been a beautiful light train line, but it was uh, finished in the 60s when that, when that guy like closed all the railways. We're going through one of the railway tunnels now. And I'm assuming we're going to get to the viaduct. Okay, so here we are on top of the viaduct. So that's a pretty good view. That way. And then... Oh, we're coming to it in a minute. I'll film again in a second. So there's the River Nisk that we're going to be walking along. So that goes out to Whitby, which is over there. You can see the Abbey. So, still quite big at this point. There's some people canoeing down there. And then next to it, you've got the railway where the steam trains come. On the side, there's, the Esk. there's this new housing estate. But in the background, you can see the Esk Valley. So, we're going to be going straight down that to Danby. So, we've come off the embankment and now we're going down the lane towards Russop. And that's the view. Just uh, on the way to Russop, and this is a really steep hill. And it, there's actually loads of cars here. But that's a famous cycling cycling hill. It's really steep. See that car's going to have problems getting around the corner. Got to the railway, and you have to press the button, and then it lets you through on the gate. Considering there's only two trains a day. Seems, whoa, seems a little bit overkill, but that's the way to Whitby, and that's the way to, well, to Danby. To Danby by car is 22 minutes, and it's going to take us about five hours. We're crazy. So, here comes the daily train. It's not very fast, is it? Yeah, don't cross, it's telling us. So we've left the railway behind, climbing up quite a big hill to go along the side of the valley, top of the hill. And this is probably our last view of Whitby. There's the abbey and the sea. Whitby keeps following. <laughs> oh no, we thought that was the last we'd see of it. Go away, Whitby. <laughs> But we're coming towards Slights here, which is down there. We're sort of up above it. And then you've got the start of the moors over there, and that's where Blue Bank is. So, that's the River Esk there. Just about to go over that bridge. Okay, so, we're past Slights, and we're going down the Esk on these old pack roads, really old roads. Quite slippy, though. Like something out of a picture postcard from the 1950s. Can you hear that sound? Here it comes. Oh, there's Blue Bank above. You can see the glint of the cars. And there it is. There's the steam train. Isn't it very busy? So we've come to this little oasis, wild garlic everywhere, it really smells. Beautiful little dell. Yeah, I, I think there is a footpath there, but you've got to cross the river. 
Should we try this way and then? All right, so we're walking through some woods. The fifth woods we've done. And we're going towards, where are we going towards? Gromont. Egton Bridge. And then Egton Bridge, yeah. Good town. There's some amazing old memorabilia here. Old tractor. And a pussy cat. And like weird like petrol things. Well, you're just like most you're molting, aren't you? There's a nice hey, cat. Molting. So this is our little lunch spot. We've yeah, we've been walking for two and a half hours, man. So hopefully we're sort of halfway, but we'll find out. So we've just got to Gromont. You can see that really steep hill where Ben Swift came off in the tour of Yorkshire just up there. Uh, and then there's this very flat, weird track that we're going to take to Exon Bridge. So we got some llamas here, indigenous Yorkshire mammal. But we're just we've come all the way down from Gromont and we're about to go to Egton Bridge. Some nice stepping stones now. Yeah, a load of mosquitoes around here, but pretty beautiful. And then around here we get to the pub. I stop in a pub. We're having uh, what is it? Caramel cake. Caramel cake washed down with coke. 33%. One in three. So I was getting scared about having to walk further up there, which is really steep. But luckily, we're turning off the road. And I think it's downhill to Beggar's Bridge. We're walking up into these woods now. Really beautiful. They look kind of Jurassic. And there's these... It gets very bouldery here. Big bouldery cliff thing there. We're high above the river now, it's just down there. Quite a view up here, it's really, really on a cliff. I don't know if you can see that. There's this bench here right up on top of the cliff. It's really old. What does it say? I can't even see what that says. The very best of man's best friend. Freddy A. Wally. Is it about a dog? Might be about a dog. It's a lovely forest this day. You can see these big boulders here. I don't know how they got the bench up here, it's quite a way. So here we are at Beggar's Bridge. We're going to see if we can find a place to have a dip. Bit of a uh, TLC for our sore feet. In the nice cool water! <laughs> Oh, so it looks a bit foreboding. For your own safety, please keep to the right of way. Otherwise, the what are they called? Not the poacher, the gamekeeper will get you. How are you finding it, Christy? Yeah, hot. Hot, Very yeah. Warm. It's pretty hardcore, isn't it? It's really hot. You wouldn't think you're in North Yorkshire. And it's quite hilly. But we're getting now towards Lealholm. Well, I think it's going to be fairly slow to there. And then we just got one more leg after Lilholm to Danby. Incredible old water mill here. Still got the water wheel there. Right next to the river. Lovely meadow of buttercups. Chrissy's just falling in the mud though. Ew, dirty girl, couldn't you wait? We've made some friends here. 
some more over here. They're all looking at us. And who are you weird two-legged people in our field? <laughs> Hello sheepies! Hello! Hello! There's mummy over there. There's babies. We've made it to the old home. There's the board in, which seems to be under new management. We're going to see if we can find an ice cream. So, this is Danby Station. We're on our way, it's the last stretch now to Danby. So it's Lilholm Station, I should say, not that Danby. But it's the next bit is quite a climb. I think we're gonna climb up to the moors. So yeah, wish us luck. Been chased by a cow. Now we're with loads of sheep and lambs, but they're not quite as scary. So we've got Fry Up Dale here, that's my favourite bit of, I think, the North Yule Moors. It's beautiful. And then we've got to go up this concrete road up onto the other side, to the moors the other side. And then we're going to walk along, drop down into Danby, hopefully. Yeah. So we're up at the line of the moors now, we've got these weird birds everywhere. See, that's a path that would go to the beacon, but <laughs> then off this side, we've got a view down into the dale, and that's the way back to Whitby somewhere. I'm walking a long time now, it's pretty hot, but hopefully we're just getting in to Danby and we've already missed our dinner uh, reservation, so let's see what we get to eat. Well, we've done it, we're just coming to the pub now, we're just having a debate. I've got on my Strava 6 hours 20 we've been walking for, but basically what time did we leave? 20 past 11, what's time now? Six forty. We're exactly in time for our dinner. 6.45, so that's quite a long time. And here we go, the lovely village green. And here's the pub, the Duke of Wellington. Oh look, and there's... Oh, that's the bakery there. We can go there tomorrow. Here's the pub. It's classified on booking.com as having a mountain view. I'm not sure it's quite a mountain view, but it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> 